The activist hacking group, Anonymous, has declared Friday ISIS trolling day. It's calling on people to spend the day mocking the terror group on social media. Anonymous declared war on ISIS following the attacks in Paris last month. In a rare interview, a member of Anonymous spoke with Joe Tidy from Britain's Sky News. If you're on the internet, you're there because we kind of let you be there. Behind the menacing masks and monikers of notorious hacking collective Anonymous is a disarmingly ordinary group of people. Here, my interview with a father of three who calls himself comedy is interrupted by members of his own team for fun. Oh, man. I'm going to kill these guys. It contrasts with the deadly serious declaration the group made against IS after the Paris attacks last month. We are going to launch the biggest ever operation against you. Expect very many cyber attacks. So far, Anonymous, led by a small group of specialists called GhostSec, claim to have taken down more than 100 Islamic State websites and more than 25,000 social media accounts. And every attack brings its own brand of humour to antagonise the jihadis further. The hackers say their pranks serve a purpose. That was just a way of saying, uh, you know, got you guys. This is serious business to us, but we keep a sense of humor to keep ourselves sane because a lot of what we see and a lot of, you know, you, you can't unsee this stuff. The small team of around 12 hackers say they work around the clock in shifts, finding potential targets online. With the support of the larger collective, they claim to be able to take down most sites. In order to give us a demonstration of what Anonymous is capable of, they've given us a heads up on their latest takedown. This is a website address they've sent us. They think the website is IS run. We don't know that for sure, but certainly looking at the translations, it appears to be IS sympathetic at least. They've said they're going to take it down any minute now. So it looks like they've been successful. It says here internal server error. Now these types of attacks normally only last a matter of hours or days, but such is the network of Anonymous. They're confident they can keep this site down for months. Impressive though it is, it's still unclear how much damage they're actually doing to Islamic State. Where you have groups like Anonymous, say, naming and shaming and putting up a list of 20,000 Twitter accounts that are allegedly connected with ISIS, and when those accounts also include the BBC, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and just accounts that seem to be written in Arabic, then you realise that there could be collateral damage for individuals who are falsely accused, which could be very devastating and very harmful. What the authorities think of their actions isn't likely to keep these hackers up at night. They say they're struggling to keep up with the newer, better protected sites that are being created all the time, and the security services aren't doing enough. They're either ignoring it or they don't know how to do it or they don't have the time or they don't have the manpower. I guess if I had to do this as a job, I would do it for eight hours a day and go home and forget about it. But we see it as more of a passion. And uh, about the only break we get is sleeping. The reach of Anonymous can't be underestimated. But it seems they may have met their match in the equally prolific and enterprising enemy that is Islamic State. Joe Tidy, Sky News.